Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Today uh, I would like to talk about uh, the ultrasound guided regional anesthesia, uh, a simple uh, concept or a simple idea of how to uh, optimize the view. Uh, it is the appreciation of an effect called an isotropy. So isotropy means uh, equal in all directions. Uh, so the general term, uh, this is the meaning of the general term. Uh, and in contrast, if we are using the term anisotropy, means like the, the, the shape or the view of something will be different when you see it from different angles or different directions. So this term is currently used frequently in ultrasound guided regional anesthesia, and it refers to the effect of the angle of the ultrasound when it hits uh, a structure. For example, if you are looking at uh, a nerve, and you are uh, making cross section through the nerve so the the degree of tilt of the probe and the angle of the beam beam that uh, faced this structure will affect the image and this is the anisotropy effect my objectives of this presentation is to increase the awareness of the anisotropy effect also to highlight its importance and how to use this knowledge to get a better ultrasound image of the delicate structures uh, and what is the most successful initial proposition and also how to use the tilting movement to optimize the image uh, for example these are two ultrasound images uh, for the same structure from the same place it is an image of the median nerve in the forearm uh, the only difference is just a slight change in the angle between the probe and the skin uh, or we can call it slight tilting this is an example of the anisotropy effect in action uh, this quality leads to the ultrasound image varying depending on the angle between the structure of interest and the ultrasound beam uh, and the, this um, this angle is also called the angle of insonation uh, for example when the angle of insonation is perpendicular to the nerve so the nerve appear bright and normal however as the angle of uh, insonation increases or decreases away from 90 degree the nerve can take an uh, a hypoechoic appearance and it can hide uh, among the surrounding structures uh, so with small structures such as tendon or nerve uh, it can make difference it can make a big difference really it can make a difference between the structure being seen or just not seen uh, as you can see uh, in the second image the median nerve is appreciated after being unable to see it in the first image so just tilting the probe made this big difference this picture would explain why the image of a structure with angle of insulation away from 90 degrees uh, decreases the amplitude of the reflected ultrasound um, and this would translate into less echogenicity and less differentiate, differentiation between the nerve and the surrounding structures because the reflected waves will not be sensed by the probe um, as you can see in the uh, lower image in the lower part of the image so the reflected waves are reflected away from the uh, probe and it will not be sensed by the probe and the amplitude of the image coming back to the probe will be less and the structure will be less visible in the upper part of the image this is when the probe is perpendicular to the structure so most of the reflected ultrasound waves will go back to the probe and it will be sensed by the probe and the echogenicity of the structure will be higher and the, the, the subject uh, whether it is a nerve or tendon will be easily uh, seen just another image to try and explain this concept more uh, so on the left side you can see that the ultrasound probe and the beam of ultrasound is perpendicular to the nerve structure and in that case the view will be better uh, on the right side the angle of insonation is uh, not 90 degree uh, and that's why we are expecting that the image of the nerve on the right side will be uh, not visible or like hardly visible uh, when compared to the image on the left side as you expected from the ultrasound probe and beam angle position in relation to the nerve so the image of this nerve on the left is uh, 
can be easily seen when compared to the image on the right. Just to clarify this point, so the angle of insonation or the angle between the ultrasound beam and the nerve structure is not always the same as the angle between the probe and the skin. It depends on how pa parallel this structure is running uh, to the skin. As you can see uh, uh, on the left, the structure is almost parallel to the skin and it makes sense uh, in this case to put the probe perpendicular to the skin in this case because uh, this means that the probe will still be perpendicular to the nerve itself. But on the right, the structure doesn't run parallel to the skin. And in that case, the probe needs a tilting angle between the probe and the skin. Uh, and this is for the ultrasound beam to fall perpendicular to the nerve structure to optimize the image. So the nerve structure may run parallel to the skin uh, in part of its course, or it may run superficial to deep. Uh, however, the most common situation is for the nerve to run from deep to superficial. That means that the ultrasound probe needs to be tilted proximally uh, to direct the ultrasound beam more distally. Uh, for example, uh, in the neck, uh, for example, doing uh, supraclavicular or doing interscalene block, the probe would be tilted cephalic and uh, uh, like directing the beam caudally. Uh, the degree of tilting will be different according to the location and according to the patient's position. I hope this uh, short presentation was useful. Um, if you are not yet on the UK Anesthesia Group, please join us on Facebook and on LinkedIn to be informed of our activities. Please do the links below the video uh, if you want to share some of your knowledge with other colleagues. Don't hesitate to send the presentations to the group. If you are ready to be our teacher on one of the UCAN meetings, please contact me directly. Your contribution will be valued and appreciated. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye.